the Khmer Empire was established by the early 9th century. Sources refer here to a mythical initiation and consecration ceremony to claim political legitimacy by founder Jayavarman II at Mount Kulen, Mount Mahindra, in 802 CE. A succession of powerful sovereigns, continuing the Hindu Devraja cult tradition, reigned over the classical era of Khmer civilization until the 11th century. A new dynasty of provincial origin introduced Buddhism, which according to some scholars resulted in royal religious discontinuities and general decline. The royal chronology ends in the 14th century. Great achievements in administration, agriculture, architecture, hydrology, logistics, urban planning and the arts are testimony to a creative and progressive civilization, in its complexity a cornerstone of Southeast Asian cultural legacy. Welcome to our channel around the world with Dua Mumtaz. Today we are going to explore Bantika Day Prasat Bantika Day, meaning a citadel of chambers, also known as citadel of monk cells, is a Buddhist temple in Angkor, Cambodia. It is located southeast of Ta Prom and east of Angkor Tom, built in the mid-12th to early 13th centuries AD during the reign of Jayavarman VII, who was posthumously given the title Mahaparam Sangatapada. It is in the Bayan architectural style, similar in plan to Ta Prom and Prathan, but less complex and smaller. Its structures are contained within two successive enclosure walls and consist of two concentric galleries from which emerged towers, proceeded to the east by a cloister. If you like our informative video, please click the like button and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so you will receive timely notification whenever we uploaded new videos. Let's get started. This Buddhist monastic complex is currently dilapidated due to faulty construction and poor quality of sandstone used in its buildings, and is now undergoing renovation. Bantika Day had been occupied by monks at various intervals over the centuries until the 1960s. The Bantika Day, one of the many Angkor temples, is located in the Angkor Archaeological Park of 400 square kilometers area. The ancient city of Angkor during the Khmer Empire extended from Tunle Sap to the Kulen Hills covering a vast area of 1,000 square kilometers. The temple is approached from the east Gopura Avtar from along a 600 meters path. This path leads to the west gate entrance Gopura of Bantika Day. It is 3 kilometers east of Angkor Tom. The name Bantika Day originates from an earlier name, Kuti, which is mentioned in the Sok Kak Tom. The steel describes the arrival of Jayavarman II to the area. When they arrived at the eastern district, the king bestowed an estate and a village called Kuti upon the family of the royal chaplain. This royal chaplain was the Brahman scholar Shiva his chief priest for the Devraja cult. The Khmer Empire lasted from 802 to 1431, initially under Hindu religious beliefs up to the end of the 12th century and later under Buddhist religious practices. It was a time when temples of grandeur came to be built and reached a crescendo during the reign of Suryavarman II until 1145-1150, and later in the 12th-13th centuries, under Jayavarman VII. Many Buddhist temples were built, including the Bantika Day, from middle of the 12th century to early 13th century. Though Jayavarman VII was credited with building many temples, he was also accused of squandering money on extravagant temple building projects at the expense of society and other duties. He built Buddhist temples in which Bodhisattva Avalakiteshvara was the main deity. This temple built, conforming to the style of the Taprom and Prathan temples in the vicinity during the same period by Jayavarman VII, but of a smaller size, was built as a Buddhist monastic complex on the site of a 10th century temple built by Rajendra Varman. Some small inscriptions attest to the building of this temple by Jayavarman VII and the royal architect. Kavindari Madana Jayavarman VII had come to power at the age of 55 after defeating Kams who had invaded Angkor and subjected it to devastation. His prodigious activity resulted in the restoration of Cambodia from its ruins. He was chiefly the architect of the rebuilt capital at Angkor Tom and was called a great builder. 
He was responsible for building many temples, which apart from Banti Kade, included the central temple of the Bayan, Prague Han, Taprom and many others, and also many rest houses for pilgrims. The reasons for building this temple at its present site is not known. However, it is established that the temple is a contemporary of the Angkor Wat as many similarities have been identified between the two, and also with Pimai Temple in Thailand. 2. It is reported to be the first temple built by Jayavarman 7 in 1181 AD, opposite to the Shra Sarang Reservoir. The external enclosure with four concentric walls, has four gopuras similar to the Taprom temple, and all are in some degree of preserved status. At the four corners, the gopuras have a fascia of Lokeshwara, Buddhist deity, Avalokiteshvara, mounted over Garurai images. It is also mentioned that the smiling faces are of King Jayavarman too, similar to those seen in the Bayan temple. The east-facing gopura, in particular, has well-preserved Garurai images on its corners. 200 meters from the west entrance of this enclosure leads to a moat, which is decorated with statues of lions and naga balustrades mounted on Garudas. The moat itself has in its precincts the third enclosure which measures 320 meter times 300 meter, 1050 feet times 980 feet, also enclosed with laterite walls. The Buddha image at the entrance to the moat, near the second interior gate, is well preserved, considering the fact that most of the other statues have been destroyed or stolen. In the 13th century, most of the temples built by Jayavarman were vandalized. However, some of the Mahayana Buddhist frontons and lintels are still seen in good condition. It is also the view of some archaeologists that the temple was built by Jayavarman II in honor of his religious teacher. The temple, which for several centuries after the Khmer reign ended, remained neglected and covered with vegetation. It was exposed after clearing the surrounding overgrowth of vegetation in 1920-1922. This work was carried out under the guidance of Henri Marshall, then conservator of Angkor, and C.H. But to ear, by adopting a conservation principle which was known as the principle of anastylosis, which was being employed very effectively by the Dutch authorities in Indonesia. It was partially occupied by Buddhist monks till the 1960s. Ten years till March 2002, Sophia University Mission or the Sophia Mission of Japan carried out several archaeological research at the Bantikade Temple. During these investigations, a cache of fragments of 274 Buddhist statues made in sandstone, along with a few metal art pieces, were unearthed. In 2001, plans to build a storage room to house the statues was also planned. The second enclosure, which is part of the main temple, measures 58 meter times 50 meter, 190 feet times 164 feet. It has a gopura on its eastern side and also subsidiary gopura on the west. Entrance doors are at the northern and southern ends. The gopura is built like a gallery with one exterior wall and double row of pillars which open into a courtyard and which has mostly shored up walls with small openings at the bottom to allow air circulation. The niches here are decorated with images of apsaras, and a Buddha statue in the central hall has been defaced by vandals. Bayan style architectural features built in are the balustered false windows with lowered blinds and davitas with headdresses in the form of small flaming discs set in a triangle. The vaults built in sandstone and laterite have collapsed at several locations of the gallery. The inner enclosures contain library building to its north and south and also a central sanctuary. The third enclosure has a gopura which has a cruciform plan. It has pillars which are crossed by vaults. There are three passages in this enclosure, two on either side are independent, with laterite walls. The niches here have small figurines, and large apsara devitas in single poses or in pairs of dancing poses. Large Buddha images, in an internal courtyard of this enclosure, have been defaced by vandals. A paved access from here leads to the main shrine, which comprises two galleried enclosures. 
At the entrance to these enclosures, from the eastern end, is the Hall of Dancers, which has four open courtyards and the pillars have fine carvings of Apsaras. Inner enclosure of the main temple is built on a 36 meter times 30 meter, 118 feet times 98 feet, layout plan. This enclosure has four corner towers abutted by small gopuras. Galleries running along an axis link these towers to the main sanctuary. The towers at the northeast and southeast are linked with the second gallery where a Buddha statue in a sitting posture is seen, in the backdrop of an open skyline. The sanctum which is 2.75 meter, 9.0 feet, square enclosure has some traces of statues of deities. This entire enclosure, however, is not built in Bayan style and hence conjectured to be of an earlier period. Remnants of wooden ceiling are also seen here. The entrance to the sanctum is flanked by Dwar Palasi surrangled by Apsaras. Shra Sarangur the royal bathing pool or pool of ablutions to the east of Bantika Day, which was dug to dimensions of 700 meters. 2300 feet x 300 meters, 980 feet, during the reign of Rajendra Verman in the 10th century, was beautified by Jayavarman 7 with well laid out steps of laterite stones with external margin of sandstone, on the banks of the pond facing the sun. It is set amidst large trees and has turquoise blue waters all the year round. The approaching steps to the water edge are flanked by two stone statues of lions with ornamented Naga balustrades. The pond was reserved for use by the king and his wives. A stone base seen at an island in the center of the pond once housed a wooden temple where the king did meditation. At the lily-filled lake, watching sunset reflections in the lake is quite an experience. The water from the lake is now used for rice cultivation by farmers of the area. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video we will see on our next video and will explore Banti Samra a temple at Angkor, Cambodia, located 400 meters to the east of the East Baray built during the reign of Surya Varman II and Yaso Varman II in the early 12th century, it is a Hindu temple in the Angkor Wat style. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video we will see on our next video and will explore Banti Samra a temple at Angkor, Cambodia, located 400 meters to the east of the East Baray built during the reign of Surya Varman II and Yaso Varman II in the early 12th century, it is a Hindu temple in the Angkor Wat style.